Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator, and try to do the best we can in the Midnight Mass scenario. So, uh, I have all my remaining investigator tokens that have not been in this series yet in this chaos pack, and let's see who our unlucky investigator this time is. And it is Dexter Drake, so a mystic rogue. So glad to see uh, Dexter finally appearing in this series. So we hopefully can, can forge a decent deck for Dexter. So let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and put a deck for Dexter. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and let's build a deck for Dexter. Even though I'm using the Novella uh, Dexter uh, Investigator card, I won't uh, change anything, so we will probably be playing with the Insmart Conspiracy uh, cards, but I'll use the Investigator card from the Novella because the image in that is better and uh, the token is corresponding to that. So uh, let's push the chaos button and see what kind of deck we build for Dexter. Okay, well, first off, uh, we have a lot of hand assets. We have the 25 automatic. Um, not the greatest weapon for Dexter, but it is a weapon at least. Ceremonial Sickle, uh, this could be good with Dexter's ability to uh, load it up with Doom and then uh, switch it up uh, with another asset in his hand. Then we have one flashlight, Hello Chalice, same with this, we can heal and uh, remove the Doom by just uh, switching it. <laughs> then we have a Kukri times two, the worst weapon in the game I think. Uh, thieves Kit. Well, uh, this is not that good for Dexter, as Dexter's agility is only two. Uh, ineffable truth, so evasion with curses. Uh, no, no, not not curses, but still, well, uh, it it could be useful. Then we have wither for a combat uh, spell, not that good. Uh, crystal pendulum. Again, not that good. Tool belt, <laughs> not good at all. David Renfield, well, uh, we only have one ally, and it is an okay ally. Then uh, two copies of Painkillers. Then uh, we have one Backstab. Not good for Dexter, delve too deep. <laughs> well, we can get an extra victory point out of that. Uh, Eldrick Inspiration, not good. Faustian Bargain, well, uh, it is a good economic card. Meditative uh, Trance, not good. Open Gate, one copy, <laughs> useless. Power Word, uh, one copy. Uh, not that good without any uh, upgrades. Premonition, always a decent card. Two copies of Refine, well, these are useless. Uh, well, they have icons, at least. One copy of Slip Away, not good. Ward of Protection, well that, uh, times two, well that's okay. Daredevil, not good, we don't have uh, uh, that many rogue skills. And we have the, the Double or Nothing, which is probably not good in this build. Then one copy of Perception, and our random basic weakness is Internal Injury. Okay, well... Not the strongest deck by any means, but let's see how we can how, how we can do with this deck. So next up, I will build the deck, and we see how this goes. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin with Dexter. So uh, let's. Just draw our opening hand and see what we get. So one, two, three, four, five. Ineffable truth. Hello, Kelly. Uh, Chalice, uh, backstab, flashlight, and Faustian bargain. So I'm thinking of uh, ditching those two. 
keeping the rest. So we'll draw Crystal Pendemon and delve too deep. Okay, well, at least we get the flashlight, which will help us get some early clues at least. So we can do at least something. And Ineffable Truth will help us to evade enemies. So we are not probably fighting that much, but we try to evade. Okay. First off, let's play Flashlight. So we get three charges on it. Second action, we'll play the Ineffable Truth. It also has three charges on it. Last action, we will just investigate. And I will investigate using the flashlight. So two against zero. It is a zero. We grab this clue and that is our turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we get power word and gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add one doom, encounter card is on wings of darkness, so I'm just testing two versus four. That is a free move basically with, uh, while taking some damage. Uh, minus four, so we fail, we take one damage and one more and move to a center location so we got a uh, free move out of that so that's good uh, with the cost of one damage and one horror okay uh, first action i will investigate here and uh, i think i will play uh, or i'll commit the parlay so i'm investigating uh, Three versus one. Minus one. We'll grab this clue. Uh, then we'll move to the graveyard. Uh, two clues here. And we'll test the willpower uh, test here. So when entering, we have to test the willpower three. So five versus three. Not committing anything. It is a skull. It is a zero. So we pass. So investigate move and last action will investigate and uh, I'm just investigating two versus one. Skull, we grab a clue. That is our turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep. Showmanship, so this is the Dexter Drake signature um, asset. Uh, after an asset enters play under your control until the end of the round, you get plus two to each of it your skills while resolving a triggered ability on that asset so could be useful maybe and uh, we'll gain a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom two of six and counter card is mysterious chanting uh, okay well um we'll just search for a normal cultist and put it into play in the River Town, so we can go there and punch, punch it to hell. I think I'm just committing the showmanship. We don't have that many synergy cards that uh, work well with that. So first action. Well, uh, first let's put this guy here. First action. I'm investigating, <coughs> and. Uh, Let's commit the Bastian Bargain. So we are 3 versus 1. Minus 4, we fail. Okay. Uh, 2 versus 1. I'm thinking of just investigating and moving next round. Defeat that. We fail. And the last action, I'm going to use the flashlight. So 2 versus 0. Zero. Well, of course, now we would have succeeded. Okay, no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We get internal injury and gain a resource. So that's bad, but it is what it is. So that is that round. Let's see. So at the end of your turn, so we don't take the damage yet, but next round we do. 
So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 3 of 6, and count the card for this round is another Acolyte. Uh, damn it. Let's see. Uh, where do I want to head up next? I think I'll go to south side, so I'll put this guy in south side. So first action. We will move here, this guy engages us, and we'll hit. I'll use the sportsman uh, showmanship. Actually, I think we'll just forget about this guy. So I'm uh, placing it in your house. Let's just defeat this guy. We don't have the means to defeat the other guy easily. We are hitting 5 versus 3. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we'll try again. We are hitting uh, 5 versus 3. So, uh, no, uh, we are hitting 3 versus 3 this time, because uh, now we uh, have no cards committed. So if we miss, then uh, that sucks. Uh, it is a 0, so we defeat this guy. And at the end of my turn, I'll take one damage from the internal injury. Nothing else happens, we'll go to upkeep. We get to refine and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so we are at 5 of 6. Encounter card is a locked door. That's the location with the most clues. Let's put it here. So our house is locked. And that is that. So first off, double action, we de deal with that. And then I will actually spawn one cultist. And we get Herman Collins. Okay, so next round we'll go defeat that. So I'll draw a card, another refine. Nothing else happens, we'll go to upkeep. We draw Kukri and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add Doom, so unfortunately we advance. So the Mass Hunter comes into play. So 4 fight, 6 health, 2 evade, and uh, Humanoid Cultist lead, Hunter, Brave Most Clues, etc. We can't get close while this guy is engaged with us, so we need to deal with him somehow. But we have the Ineffable Truth, so we can at least evade our real power. So, uh, encounter card for this round is Mysterious Chanty. Okay, so that shortens the game a bit. So this guy gets 2 Doom, and now the uh, Skulls are minus 2. So first action, we are using the ineff in 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 Ineffable Truth to evade, and I'm using my willpower. And uh, we are evading 5 versus 2, minus 3. Uh, so we succeed, we deal 1 damage to the evaded enemy. And it's there, so second action will move here. I'll test uh, willpower 5 versus 3, minus 3. Uh, we fail, so we take 2 power. That's not good, but not the worst. And last action, we will defeat Herman Collins. Uh, I'll discard. I'll keep that <laughs> dealt to the so we can get extra victory points somehow. So I'm uh, discarding Kukri, Refine, Refine, and Crystal Pendulum. So we defeat Herman Collins at least. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. Draw, Board of pro 
protection and gain a resource. So this guy also readies. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So one of eight. Encounter card for this round is on wings of darkness. Well, again, we get a free move. I'm not even committing anything. Uh, minus four. So we move here. Mass counter engages us. We take one seven ten one four. First action, we use the inevitable truth to evade, and I am evading a five versus two. Minus one, we evade and deal one damage. And uh, uh, I'll reveal another cultist. It is Victoria Devro. So we have resources to go deal with her. So next, I will move to Miskatonic University. There are two clues here, two out of four. So we are probably not getting these clues. And that is our turn. No enemies will enemy actions will go to upkeep. This guy ready is withdraw. Hello, chalice and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Two of eight. Uh, actually, we are at four of eight. Encounter card is acolyte. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm putting the acolyte uh, to downtown we are moving that way okay that is that so first action we'll move to north side this engages us and uh, two clues here we will spend five resources to defeat uh, Victoria Debro. So we have two cultists in the victory display and one victory point from the location. Then I will investigate using the flashlight. Uh, two versus one. If this fails, then it fails. Minus three, it fails. Okay, well, I think... Um, we will... Do a fast action to discard the flashlight and play a hello cal chalice uh, with minus one cost. So now we can uh, heal ourselves at least. Enemy face, this guy hunts over here. Upkeep, we draw occult scraps and gain a resource. Uh, so occult uh, scraps is occult scraps cannot be played using a play action. While occult scraps is in your hand, you get minus uh, two willpower. While occult scraps is in play, you get minus one willpower. Okay. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so I think we are pretty close to resigning. So we have uh, three, four, five, six. So we have a couple of turns left. Encounter card for this round is uh, Hunting Shadow. We don't have any clues, so we are actually forced to take the two damage. So we are one damage away from getting defeated. Except, uh, let's back up. I will Ward of Protection this. Okay, well, at least something. So, hmm. let's see, I'll draw a card, Perception, doesn't help us defeat the Acolyte, okay, I think we'll just, uh, no, next round, okay. We have to delve next round. So first I will move to downtown. This guy engages us and I will evade using the ineffable route. And we are minus 
yeah, I'm, I'm doing the fast action for that, so I'll discard this. I'll put this into play. So I'm 4 versus 2 evading. Elder sign. Uh, you may return an asset from your play area to your hand, then draw one card. Nice. Now we can uh, get rid of this by pl and play the ineffable truth again. And uh, we deal one damage here, but we also take one damage because we drew an elder sign. So that's that's bad because uh, if you draw elder sign plus one or zero token, this trigger during this evasion attempt lose one resource. Oh, never mind. We only lose one resource. So that's okay, but we still deal the um, damage to the evaded enemy. Okay, and uh, enemy face, this guy hunts over here. Upkeep, we draw daredevil and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so we are at uh, 6 versus 8. Encounter card is the wizard of the order, so this is our sign to get out of dodge. Mm, we don't have time to go defeat this guy. And it gets doom. So, uh, first action we'll play Delve too deep. So it goes into victory display, and we get an encounter card, which is Grip Chill. So we, well, we would have want to fail this. Minus one, so we four versus four, minus one, we fail, and we discard two scraps. And uh, second action, I will resign. So that is that. So at least we got one victory point from here, one from Del 2 Deep, and two cultists defeated. With, uh, so it's a total of four victory points. So uh, not the worst result, but uh, we could have done a lot better if we had a investigation. Uh, spell asset in play to clear off these two victory point locations but uh, yeah that's chaos decks for you you can't guarantee what uh, you have you have to play with what you get uh, ineff ineffable truth was really really good with this and i can see the synergy getting this into your hand uh, playing it again and baiting and dealing damage but you really need something else so that that actually makes the evasion strategy a bit better so you don't have to be a fighter you could like, like evade and deal damage along the way then uh, switch it back into your hand if you draw the elder sign and then uh, play it again but yeah that was dexter drake uh, with the chaos deck in the midnight mass scenario uh, we got four experience, so that's decent. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.